down here this morning because of the blacklisting that's going on at Manchester Airport. The company is JCK Limited. Just before lockdown, some of our branch members sent us pictures. No social distancing. We said, like, well, just go and tell them that you're not happy with it. And they're like, you're joking, aren't you? They flirted a guy last week just for mentioning COVID-19 on a WhatsApp group. So we contacted Mag. They shut the job down that afternoon. And that was the right thing to do, by the way, you know, for people's safety. But none of these guys got paid, furloughed or anything because they're all bogus and self-employed. We approached the company saying, look, you know, you went as far as to get rid of a guy for mentioning your know, issues around COVID-19. And they just say, no, we didn't. And you're like, yeah, look, you did. You know, every single guy witnessed it during a public meeting in the morning. And when you did it, it was a case of if anyone else has got an issue with this, you can fuck off as well. The project's running without a national agreement. For them to say, oh, no, we didn't do that. We've got no record to that. We responded with, yeah, it's, it's probably difficult to have records when you've not got appeal procedures, grievances, contracts of employment. P45, letters of redundancy, there's none of that. So when they've text people to come back to work, and when guys have said, yeah, but what safeguarding methods are in place, that was it then, they weren't getting a start back. There's still lads out here now, 13 weeks, nothing. No money coming in, no income. They've sacked lads for not doing overtime on here. The week before, a guy got an electric shock on here. Cut through a cable that was live. He got told he was dead, unqualified supervisor told him. When you get a stage where there's no employment rights, there's no models, there's no national agreements, there's no grievances, there's nothing in place for you to have dialogue with your employees, something like this kicks off. It's very easy to go, oh, don't take him back, he's trouble. We've got a provisional meeting date now for this Tuesday coming. Manchester Airport Group having a dialogue with us is a breakthrough. But the lads have heard it all before and the lads aren't willing to stop yet. The row over the construction workers who haven't been paid since the lockdown. They say they've been abandoned. The silence is deafening. It really is. It's terrible. The way, the way yourself and fellow workers have been treated. If you live in the Manchester area, write to your local councillor, write to your MP. The 10 local authorities for Greater Manchester have got, between them, 65% ownership in Manchester Airport Group. Salford, Trafford and Thameside have all raised concern about this. Guys getting threatened and abused and sacked for raising issues of COVID-19 and electrical safety issues. You just can't carry on accepting it.